Hello everyone and welcome back. It's Chuck Thunder, Charles Thunder, Gonzo Rivera. Here we are doing another episode of our Let's Play and a bit of a tutorial videos. Something I want to show you guys is trade goods, rare trade goods. I might have talked about them several times over in my other episodes, but now I finally have a good example of something to show you on how rare trade goods work. So I am in Seville, and if you want to know what the rare trade good for the region is, in this case Iberia, is looked at the market keeper when you get here and next to his buy and sell tabs you'll see the rare trade goods information here he'll show you a picture of the rare trade good describe its type and give you its description a freshly smell fresh smelling highly nutritious herb from the mediterranean oh so that's a good hint telling me where it's from what it looks like and what type of good it is it is a spice and i know happen to know what the spice is because i have picked the spice up before it is parsley and in parsley if you look on some of the wikis out there, is bought in Palma. It's a very good place to go to get parsley. Now, if you're someone like myself who's been training up their uh, spice uh, skill as much as possible, I've been trying to at least get my spice skill up. This is a good way to do it. So first we're going to change our ship to something a little bit more appropriate. Something a little bit more storage so I can carry more spices with me because I like to carry as many spices as I can. And we are going to set sail for Palma. Palma, I know, is where I can get parsley. There might be other places, but I think this is the closest one. And I'm going to get that rare trade good from Palma and bring it back to Spain, specifically. Um, uh, Seville because it is a good uh, as far as I know it is a good place to sell it now that's not the only rare trade good I'm, I also know of another rare trade good to Spain surprisingly and it's mint and I don't know if mint is found nearby uh, let's take a look I'll just type in into Google here mint UWO where can we find mint can find it okay that's rather far away you can get it in run or Hormuz in East Africa or in Southeast Asia so nowhere close but I have the no mint is another rare trade good um, at the moment because my um, uh, private farm actually produces mint and so when I went to go sell the goods that were in my private farm mint happened to be a rare trade good I knew that it was because it was selling at an extremely high price. It was telling me that it sells high. So, now that I know that parsley is a rare trade good, if it isn't the only one, it just happens to be the one for this region, uh, I can go buy as much as I can from it, for, uh, for it actually, from a place, and bring it back. And it should sell for a relatively high price. So this is how you find out what a high uh, a rare trade good is. You could also ask on the group chat what the rare trade good is, and someone might likely tell you. Um, not all rare trade goods are good. I've gone and looked at all the different locations to find out that all the rare trade goods are from far away, which don't get me wrong, still means that the trip to go get them and come back will likely be worth it. It just means though that there's a high risk that when you go get the stuff and come back and you try to sell it there's other people doing that and the market for that rare trade good could collapse um, specifically in this case it's spices and spices are often sold in Seville whether they're coming from around Ambon, Calicut, Pepper, you know all those different spices, mace and nutmeg I run the risk <coughs> that they are going to crash the market and harm its selling uh, ability so I just wanted to show you guys exactly where to go and how to do these and what a lot of people tend to do is when there's a rare trade good like this that's relatively close and especially when it's a fast route from Palma to, to Seville which is literally visible on the map here from to each other it is well worth the trip and people right now are actually doing that also, since it's a spice, it's also a good time to level up my spice skill. And in this case, I only have spice level 5. So I might spend the money to switch my skill over to um, 
uh, switch my uh, job over from animal trading to spice trading so that this becomes a favorite skill and I can buy more spices instead of other things. But I'm also trying to train my cooking skill right now as well because I want to get to at least cooking skill 11 uh, on its own so I can actually make this food, salted fish, completely without having to use uh, an item. So that's going to be one of my focuses maybe today if I have the time to get the grind that's cooking skill up. It, it's a pain in the butt kind of skill to learn. Alright, so here we are. We're going to go to the harbor. You'll see a bunch of people probably running over to the, the market. Maybe not. I don't see anybody over there. Cool. Maybe people stopped doing it for now. But I'm going to buy parsley. Lots of it. And while I'm here, I'm also going to buy all the other spices too because they pay well, generally. And while I'm there, I also got some fish, because fish also pays well in Seville, typically. Enough for a profit, at least. What is my research info for? Buying trade good? Oh, okay, when I sell trade goods, too. Cool. So this is just going to actually also help my research thesis as well. We're going to set sail without using our I just need this and this. I guess I don't have uh I guess I never paid attention if my ship had emergency acceleration. Eh, it doesn't. That's fine. But, now that I've picked up parsley from Palma, as well as all the other spices, I got 98 parsley, which, if I remember correctly, the last time I made this trip should get me 50,000 per. So, I got like 500,000 roughly where I tried to sell off this before. So, you can get several million from doing this trip a few times. And that's kind of my goal here is to do that as well as also since it's going to increase my research skill here. If I sell profitable trade over 100,000, I'll get um, 160. Uh, research tricks here, so I should be able to do that a few times. Good thing I switched cargo ships too, because I nearly filled my entire boat up with trade goods. It's also a special weekend, uh, at least until the end of today, where I get an extra 100% bonus on skills. I'm saying food trading skill increased by this much. By 100%. So this this is definitely a good time for me to do spice trading uh, bonus. I think that might be something I work on too if I can get the cooking skill up high enough, fast enough. So maybe I don't I'll switch back. I'm just I'm just doing this for the video for today because I really want to get that cooking skill. I'm halfway there. I would like to get to 11. I'd like to get to 11 on its own. So we, we might just do some some cooking runs. I already got a full inventory of broad bean and ham soup, and I need to use it all. So broad bean and ham soup. I might just have to throw it out instead of actually using it, because I'm not gonna be able to use it all fast enough. Because I want to make more salted fish, and salted fish is the much better. It was 70, this only was 30. And that's one of the things I can make relatively quickly with a lot of... And then seafood pizza is another one I can make a lot of. I just need cheese, uh, fish, and flour. I, I might start selling seafood pizza and focusing salted fish for myself. Alright. Go back to Seville. I'm loving these two ships. These are my two favorite ships to sail. They look the prettiest to me. 
I might do some work on this ship so it doesn't have this stupid paint job, but I love this paint job, which is kind of cool. There's no ship paint job, though. I'm going to work on that. Okay, here we are in Seville. Go to the commercial district. Go to the merchant. I'm going to sell all the other goods. Oh, regular doesn't sell for profit. Oh, well. All right, ready? So now we sell this. Oh, not all at once. I'm going to sell this in a chunk to make it over just over 100,000 in my case here. Doing this so I can reach the hundred thousand cell point. Back eighteen. Okay, and this last one I don't think I'm gonna get the hundred thousand for. Nope. That's okay. Sell it anyways. So there we go. I made like nearly a million. And that's how you do rare trade goods. And just by simply looking at what the keeper wants. Really easy. So hopefully that episode, this one, being very short, teaches you a little bit about some oh, I'm so close. Um you know, being this close to uh a, a rare trade good shows you exactly how valuable it can really be. And you can make easy money relatively quickly just by doing a really close rare trade good. But the timing of these rare trade goods is not always good, and sometimes they're not always close by. But this is a time where a lot of people capitalize, and you should be one of those. Um, it's not the fastest way to make money. It's not the reliable way, it's the most reliable way to make money, but it is one of those early game ways to make tons of money um, and do it quickly, as well as also boost your skills. So hopefully this episode was helpful, everyone, and thank you for stopping by again. As always, this is Chuck Thunder, signing out.